when you come out to a place like this, you want to put aside all your other concerns. You may not have a lot of physical luggage that we bring here, but we tend to have a lot of mental baggage. And you want to learn how to put that aside, too. When the Buddha talks about finding seclusion, it's not just physical seclusion like we have here, but he says try to develop some mental seclusion, and particularly put, put down your, your baggage. Otherwise, we sit here talking with our cravings and getting involved with all kinds of long conversations with who knows what inside the mind. This is where we're taught to bring the mind right to the body in and of itself, just the sensation of the body right here, the sensation of the breath coming in going out. And as for anything else that would pull you away, just let it go, let it go. Realize that it's not relevant. There was once a woman who came to stay with a John Fuhring, and her original plan was to stay for two weeks. And after the second day, she came and said, well, I've got to go back home now. He asked her why. He said, well, she's, she was getting worried about the people at home, what they would do, what they would eat, how would, how would they take care of themselves. And he told her, just tell yourself that you've died. They're going to have to learn how to look after themselves one way or another. And for the time that you're here, you're cut off from the rest of the world. We'll make that mentally cut off as well. Any, any thoughts that would go snaking out to other responsibilities or other concerns you might have, just learn how to cut them, cut them, cut them as they go. And bring your attention back into the breath. Try to really stay here. If you're going to be conversing with anyone, converse with the four elements in your body. Earth, water, wind, fire. Like the wind here, that's the breath coming in, going out, and the energy that allows the breath to come in and lets it go out. Converse with that. See what it needs. See what can keep it in balance. And that way you're not talking with your cravings and clingings. You're talking with your mindfulness and your alertness. And that kind of companionship can help you along the path. As for other companions, just put them aside, even as you deal with other people here as we go through the day having our chores and whatnot. Try to keep your conversations at a minimum. Don't say anything unless it's really necessary, because you're disturbing not only your own quiet, but the quiet of the people around you. So when it's necessary to make a disturbance, that's perfectly okay. But when it's not necessary, then again, it's your cravings and your clingings are conversing with you and the conversation is spilling outside. So try to keep your conversations with mindfulness, alertness, concentration, discernment. As for the rest of the world, you can just be dead to them for the time that you're here. If you get resurrected at the end, that's fine. If not, okay, you've made a clean break. <laughs>